and we have Dan and Chris here from Shark Infested Dogs. Hey. How are you guys doing today? We're super awesome. So good. We're happy oh, to be here. Great. Okay, so we have to hear the story. Everyone wants to know how you came up with the name Shark Infested Daughters and the true story that you just told me behind the scenes. Alright, well, I like to think of sperm, my sperm, like nature's smallest shark. And if you know anything about a shark, you'll know about the feeding frenzy, which is like, just kind of like how we write music, how we live our daily lives, feasting on everything we have around us. So, picture our sperm and our music infecting you and your daughters for generations to come. And shark infested daughters just came naturally. Okay. <laughs> tough crowd, tough crowd. Okay, all right. I just laughed. We, did, we didn't want to say our roommate thought it up because that doesn't sound as cool. Anyways, you guys have a new album coming up. When can we expect that? 2015, if everything goes well. So in a couple months. Uh, Beginning or end of 2015. Yeah, we're, we're shooting to be in the studio right after January, and we're doing an eight song full length album, tentatively called Tidebringer. And that'll be our first full length. We've done an EP a couple of years ago, and we haven't really put out much aside from singles from that. So we're shooting to release it around spring to summer of 2015. And we're probably going to tour really heavy off that. We're going to go out west and try first time out east. Okay, I'll hold you guys to that. That's Absolutely. a promise now. <laughs> I'll you swear later. Um, so how did the band form? Well, the form, uh, Chris and I have known each other for a while. I've been in bands in the city before. And uh, Chris's roommate a long time ago was kind of the promoter of one of my earlier bands, Jessica Rabbit. And we had hung out a bunch of times. He would come to a bunch of my old shows. And one day I wasn't in a band and uh, he had been screaming a lot. And he just said, hey, Dan, Let's fucking do it. And uh, we ended up jamming in his basement to drum tracks from my old band. Just me and him trying to scream and write music and shit like that. Went on that way for a number of months before we could actually find anyone else who was willing to join us. We tried a bunch of drummers and nothing really stuck until Chris basically forced one of his coworkers to continuously come. And we would call him every single week relentlessly, He'd just be like, hey, do you want to come jam? Do you want to play drums for us? And through a litany and a slew of other people trickling in over a while, we finally had a full band that actually wanted to jam every week. And then that actually, things actually started happening. Music started being written. Awesome. You said come a lot in that There, there were a lot of innuendos, yeah. but we have a girl in our band, so it's not gay. It's not gay. It's not gay. Okay. No. And you guys are roommates? Yeah, heterosexual, we're, heterosexual life we're heterosexual life. But you share a room. No, we don't. No, we, you know, we actually sleep on different floors. Oh, good. Uh, the tension is, you can kind of It's palpable. <laughs> it's palpable. Weird. All right, guys, we're getting nice and chummy with shark infested oh. dogs. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Do, did okay, I did copy you like, like, yeah, that? Four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we're like, chummy. I've, I've planned this all day. And you've never done this before? No. <laughs> Shaking I, think so you're doing, I think you're doing just thin. <laughs> We're gonna fight later. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> have you guys had any really bad, like, stage five clingers, groupies, women who wouldn't leave you alone? Uh, uh yes. We, uh. Not because of our band. Though. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're horrible, horrible people. People. <laughs> horrible people. And uh, we use Tinder to promote our band. Oh, big time, big so time. So if time. any of you girls are on Tinder, you already know us. And uh, we basically did the Tint tour. Yeah, the Tint tour. <laughs> we went on tour in every city we stopped in. All five of us, except for Erica, would get on Tinder. And no judgment. We're yes, swiping yes, right yes, yes, every yes, 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 yes. Dogs, Come to our show, come to our show, come to our show. Burning BC, Doesn't come to our show. So we've actually... Uh, Girls have actually shown up before. <laughs> and a lot of the time it's awesome and like I actually have made some friends off Tinder aside from um, these crazy girls who There's show a couple up. rapey girls. There yeah, so usually My what, favorite. you know, what goes down is they'll show up and they'll pretend to like our band and then after they'll keep trying to talk to us. I like to do the little smoke grenade. He does. He just the backhand. Oh, like I'm okay. like, oh, right, thank back. you so much, I'll be right back and smoke date and I'm out that bitch. We don't. We yeah, don't we don't. We what don't. do you use for a smoke bomb? Um, 
distraction. Yeah, he uses, he uses a sleight of hand, yeah. misdirection, kind of like Chris Angel. Yeah. So not a real small part, just so everyone knows. Next question. Do you guys have a favorite shark? This is a really important question. Yes, I do have a favorite shark, and it is not really a shark. Nor is it a whale. If it's your semen, the whale you shark. <laughs> the whale shark is actually a fish. Did you know that? This no, is I don't this know is back shark. to shark facts. Hammerhead shark. I don't know. Uh, well, That's my, my favorite. My shark. favorite street shark was the hammerhead shark. The, yeah, if you're going with street sound. sharks, I'm with that. Yeah. Real shark. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. I I'll appreciate the hammerhead, but I'm gonna rep the great white. It's all good. Oh, uh, yeah, so one, original. Yeah, 1v1 combat, hammerhead. Can I just Megalodon, even though it's been extinct for 35 million years? 350 million one years? One second. Oh, there is only one correct answer to this question. Is it Megalodon? Do you still believe that the Megalodon exists? Answer correctly. Absolutely not. Geologically, it's completely impossible. Geologically, you're answer. completely impossible. <laughs> what is your answer? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with logic. <laughs> as much as believing in fairy tales is fun, uh, it's just, you know, yeah, he's hanging out with Nessie. What, what do you yeah, have for me? Megalodon is a real shark a real in the deepest caverns of so the ocean. Did you learn that based off the uh, Discovery Channel show? Shark Week nope. fake, <laughs> fake Megalodon? Nope. I learned this based on knowledge. Oh, <laughs> fuck me, right? I heard like, this based on a fucking genius, and you should shit your mouth. And we're all gonna piss fight. Yes, ma'am. Just so you guys know. Okay, we're taking bets right now. Who's gonna win? It's 2v1. Morgana. Everyone. I'll hit a girl in public. They have both <laughs> seen these not humans before. Yeah. Living or dead? It's much harder she when they're dead. They're die. all in. Alright. This is a weird question. Uh, you had to choose between the two in an epic apocalyptic battle. Would you rather have cats with laser eyes or dogs with laser eyes fighting alongside you? How would you get cats to be a team with one another? <laughs> they don't. They only care about themselves. This is a theoretical question. Well, because dogs work so well with pack mentality, I would choose dogs. You could train them to complete one specific objective as a team, while cats would just, you know, throw their feces at you and fucking hang out. In a warm spot. Has the cat ever thrown its feces at you? <laughs> no, but your cat puked on my sex book. <laughs> That's true. I'm going with cats. I'm going with cats. If you I'm go going with cats? Yeah, if you go on our Facebook, there's meow infested daughters, and we're we all do. cats. I was lasers. thinking of cats too, because they can do crazy backflips and shoot lasers so in a whole dogs. bunch of directions. So can dogs. Dogs will just cuddle up to you and then shoot a laser directly into I your feel stomach. like the cats would yeah. overthrow your power, though. Yeah, you, you, would they they would take cats, over. They, you, you know what I mean? Dogs, you could submit, and the, you would be their overlord, their canine overlord. As, and as much power as you gave them with the laser beams, they would still answer to you as long as you had a high pitched whistle. And with cats, it would be like that Futurama episode. Uh, cats kind of. Cats are everything. fucking assholes. So. Yeah, definitely. I think I think dogs. Yeah. Even as much as I like cats. I like to have a cat because like they're easy, but I don't want to give it laser beams. I, yeah, dogs would win. Yeah, the only All right. Yeah. So my answer has been correct for the last two questions, and we're just disagreeing with them. But <laughs> <laughs> this has been a great interview. Thank you, Dan and Chris, and. Some of us will see you live in Calgary sometime soon. Uh, November 14th. With Within the Texas Ruins in July. Texas in July. Yes. I'm so excited. And if you guys don't come, I'll fucking kill myself. So Whoa. that's on your hands. I'll hold you to that. That's on your hands. I'll do it on fucking chat roulette. Whoa. You know I mean? Do you want to be my new lead singer? Yes, because I can actually be vocals. Oh, so. Now, finally. New job.